Hi students, in the last video we discussed about uh, the test and uses of hydrogen chloride. Now in this video we are going to start a new chapter and the first one is the preparation of ammonia in the laboratory. Ammonia is a new chapter, we will be doing it in a sequence so keep watching. Thank you. Preparation of ammonia. As we know ammonia is a colorless gas, it has a very characteristic pungent odor and uh, it can be obtained by the action of alkali because it is a basic gas. So alkalis react with ammonium salts, we get ammonia gas. So we have taken two common ammonium salts here. The first one is ammonium sulphate. Ammonium sulphate react with the alkali sodium hydroxide. The product you get will be the salt sodium sulphate Na2SO4 and then we have water and also ammonia. We need to balance this. Sulphate is divalent, so two ammonium ions are there. So we will take two NaOH and Na2SO4 and we have two H2O and two NH3. So it is balanced. Now we have the next one. Sodium hydroxide reacting with the next salt that is ammonium chloride NH4Cl. Here we get NaCl plus water and also ammonia ammonia gas escapes. So here yeah, it is all monovalent so there is nothing to do it is already balanced here. Now we go to the next alkali potassium hydroxide we can take is also an alkali that reacts like sodium hydroxide. So the first ammonium sulphate the first salt we will take. So we get K2SO4 potassium sulphate and we get water. We also get ammonia here which is the main product that we require and uh, since it is divalent here sulphate ion so we take 2 KOH so K2SO4 and there will be 2 molecules of water and 2 ammonia so it is balanced right and uh, then we will take uh, potassium hydroxide the next alkali with uh, the next salt that is ammonium chloride so we have KCl potassium chloride we have water we also have ammonia coming up okay right so nothing to do it is balanced then we have the third alkali that is calcium hydroxide which is a divalent metal calcium divalent metal ammonium sulphate also is divalent so here we get calcium sulphate the salt is calcium sulphate plus water and we get ammonia so two molecules of water and two molecules of ammonia so it is done it is balanced then we have calcium hydroxide with the next salt ammonium chloride so here we have calcium chloride CaCl2 and water and ammonia right. So calcium is divalent so we need two chlorines here so two NH4Cl so therefore there will be two NH3 and there are two OH groups here so two H2O so it is balanced. So this is how we can use ammonium salts to react with alkalis to give ammonia gas this is one general method. Now we also have the laboratory preparation how ammonia is prepared in the laboratory the common available salt of ammonia ammonium chloride is used for this purpose and uh, ammonia is prepared by reaction of the alkali alkali used here is slaked lime or calcium hydroxide the mixture of the two substances is powdered and ground together and heated so you get the salt that is ammonia chloride and uh, calcium hydroxide so you get uh, the first product is ammonia is formed and calcium chloride and water right so we will need two molecules of ammonium chloride so two ammonia molecules will be formed as product and two chlorines are there so CaCl2 is there now two OH groups there will be two H2O so this is the reaction now this is a very common reaction but it is so important because the, the reactants used are very cheap here. The reactants are mixed in the ratio 1 is to 4. That is one part of ammonium chloride is mixed with 4 parts of slake lime by weight. And the alkali is taken in higher amount. You see the reaction which are here you see 2 molecules of ammonia, ammonium chloride react with 1 molecule of calcium hydroxide so it should be 2 is to 1 but we are taking 1 is to 4 1 is to 4 means it will be 2 is to 8 so excess of alkali is taken why we are taking the alkali in excess there is a reason for that the reason is 
we know ammonium chloride is a sublimate ammonium chloride NH4Cl is a sublimate means when heated it will change to it sublimes on heating sublimes it will produce its vapor and it will escape so we need to prevent that so to keep that we have excess molecules of alkali so that every molecule of ammonium chloride that tries to change into vapor is attacked by the alkali so excess of alkali is kept there to attack and react so that we get the product ammonia so the sublimation is minimized by the use of excess of alkali that's what we understand here so we can say how do you write it the alkali is taken in higher amount to counteract the word is to counteract for the loss of ammonium chloride by sublimation okay so this is the reason for taking excess of alkali now the reactant ammonium chloride the other reactant is one is lake lime the other one is uh, ammonium chloride which is naturally available in in nature in plenty we get that it's an impure form of ammonium chloride available in nature which is called sal ammoniac sal ammoniac is nothing but the impure form of ammonium chloride available in nature so it is so cheap now the so the reactants use lake lime also is cheap so the reactants used in the preparation of ammonia in the laboratory are cheap and widely available substances right the next thing to note is slake lime is preferred over other alkalis the other alkalis like sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide we have seen that already sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide can react and give ammonia but in the laboratory we don't prefer them we prefer slake lime slake lime is calcium hydroxide cao hold twice it is preferred to other alkalis why the reason is it is not deliquescent like the other alkalis okay these sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxides are deliquescent you know what is deliquescence deliquescence is a property when a substance is left exposed to the atmosphere it absorbs moisture from the air and then it becomes wet and dissolves in it so in that process what happens is the reaction gets slowed down because the water will absorb the ammonia formed so reaction will get slowed down so to avoid that deliquescence nature we take slake lime so slake lime is preferred because of this reason now the other salt ammonium chloride is used we have uh, ammonium nitrate is another salt that another salt of ammonia okay so now this is not used because it is explosive ammonium nitrate is explosive so if you use there is a danger in conducting the experiment and also ammonium nitrate is quite unstable it decomposes ammonium nitrate has the formula nh4no3 on heating what happens is it will decompose to n2o nitrous oxide and water okay so this is the product formed so it instead of giving ammonia it gives nitrous oxide and water vapor and also it is explosive now another thing we th we need to note so we have seen that ammonium chloride is the most widely preferred choice and among alkali calcium hydroxide or slake lime is a widely preferred choice and reason why others are not chosen now we have this reactants are to be finely powdered a very fine powder of both the substance we can use a mortar and pestle and grind it so that the maximum contact is established you must understand powdering increases surface area and when they are ground together they give maximum contact and the reaction is established this is another thing to note now let us take uh, think about the apparatus the apparatus used for this purpose we have the round bottom flask and it is kept sloped the flask is not kept straight it is kept in the sloped manner so why do we keep it in the sloped manner that is what we need to see next see the diagram here we have the round bottom flask the round bottom flask is here which is not kept vertical a round bottom flask we can keep usually it is kept in this manner so we are not using it in this manner why there are reasons number one reason is if you keep it straight and there is a cork here and a delivery tube is inserted like this what happens is you see one of the products in the reaction is water we have written the reaction where we have seen that the laboratory preparation see the reaction here we see one of the product is water so water is coming as a product here now what happens when water comes there if you keep the delivery tube straight like this the water vapor will go inside the delivery tube it will condense in the delivery tube and what happens is water droplets can fall down like this so the droplets falling and we are heating the flask is being heated here here we have the burner and heating is happening here 
Now what happens when you heat the flask, the bottom of the flask is hot. When cold water droplets fall down on the hot flask, it will crack. So the first reason why we keep the flask sloped is to prevent the prevent the trickling of cold water. Prevent the trickling of cold water on the hot base of the flask which can lead to cracking of the apparatus okay so this is the first reason why the flask is kept sloped now we also have a second reason there is another reason what happens is when the flask is kept straight we have already seen that it is a uh, ammonium chloride is a sublimate ammonium chloride sublimes so if you have ammonium chloride at the base and when heating the vapors formed ammonium chloride will go and it will condense inside the delivery tube inside the delivery tube it will go and it will sublime it not condense it will sublime means it will form solid inside so it will block the passage so what will happen pressure gets built up and the whole thing will explode so we need to prevent that so the second reason we have is to prevent the sublimation sublimation of ammonium chloride inside the delivery tube inside the delivery tube which can lead to explosion why explosion because pressure gets built up and there is no passage to escape you see this here the flask is kept sloped so if ammonium chloride is heated if at all it sublimes it will sublime on the top surface like this but not inside the delivery tube and secondly water droplets formed here condensation will slowly come through the side instead of falling down and trickling on the hot base so this way both these problems are prevented now you note here ammonium chloride is heated here so the ammonia gas is coming here water is condensing and staying inside only and getting again getting evaporated and the ammonia is coming here now we have the drying tower here you have a drying tower which is packed with the quick lime as the drying agent quick lime is the drying agent for ammonia and we have a flask kept upside down inside which we get dry ammonia so this is how the arrangement is there now let us see the further point the drying agent for ammonia the drying agent for ammonia is quick lime okay so quick lime quick lime cao okay because it is basic and does not react with ammonia okay other drying agents cannot be used as they react with ammonia what are the other drying agents other drying agents such as uh, we have phosphorus pentoxide p2o5 we have corn sulfuric acid h2so4 okay so these are some of the other drying agents and also fused or anhydrous calcium chloride these cannot be used because they react with ammonia whereas quick lime does not react as it is basic so it can be used now collection of ammonia ammonia is collected by downward displacement of air so as we have seen the air inside the flask will move downwards air moves downwards ammonia moves upwards okay so that is what is the downward displacement of air now because ammonia is lighter than air ammonia has a density of 8.5 8.5 is the density of ammonia and air has a density of 14.4 so ammonia is lighter than 
air so we can easily ammonia can easily move up displace air downwards okay now ammonia is highly soluble in water so cannot be collected over water cannot be collected over water so we need to collect it only over air so air we cannot collect over water as it is highly soluble so we have prepared ammonia we have seen what are the reactants and what are the conditions what how the apparatus is set up and also how we can collect and dry the gas okay so children i hope you understood how we can prepare ammonia in the laboratory and also general methods and how we can collect and dry the gas thank you for watching you can subscribe and like the channel